Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Today we'll use a color pencil, a brush, watercolors and water. And a paper cloth to wipe your brush on can come in handy too. I really like working with pen, but today I want to experiment with a different color outline than those black inky lines. So for today's sketchbook entry I will draw what I had for dinner yesterday, using a color pencil. Make sure you test if your color pencil can handle water, as later on you'll color your drawing with watercolors. I randomly chose an orange pencil and have started drawing the leaves of lettuce. I am doing this very loosely and using my memory and imagination for this drawing. To draw all the ingredients, I'm trying to keep it very simple in order to create a clear overview, as if this were a recipe. I have a gap here and could fill it up with more lettuce leaves or pieces of bacon, but instead I will add a bit of writing. If you leave space at the top of your page, you can add a title or simply a description of your drawing. Now I'll pick up my watercolors and quickly throw some paint on the page. You could also choose to color neatly within the lines, but I feel like sloppy could work. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. The colors add a lot of information to the drawing and I think the orange outlines combined with the bright watercolors gives the page a cheerful effect. Now let's add a bit of color to that title. You can just add wet paint at the bottom of each letter and then clean your brush and spread the paint a little so it fans out a bit. When you wipe your brush on a paper cloth, you can lift excess paint off the paper or move it around a little. I did this drawing in just 12 minutes and yet again it proves that even in a very short amount of time, you can record a little part of your life in your sketchbook and use your memory and imagination to create a fun page. Can you imagine how many ways there are to fill your sketchbook pages? Head on over to sketchbookschool.com and find out! Mm -hmm.